Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a quick flip through of Colouring Heaven's Pocket magazine. Um, this is actually issue two, Magic Jars. I didn't buy the first one, I can't even remember what the first one was. Um, don't think it's got it on the back, no. So I don't know what the first one was. But I picked this up because I was in town with Paul, he was having his eyes tested. And I thought, it takes a good hour, I'm not going to sit around in the opticians. So I picked this up and some pencils and I went and sat in Starbucks, had a cup of tea, did a bit of colouring. So you will see what I've been colouring because I haven't finished it yet. Hopefully you see it at the end of the month. So so this is a new one and it costs four ninety nine. so it's not cheap for a pocket magazine. And the paper feels quite shiny. I don't think it's as... Actually it feels better than I thought it was but I don't know if it's as good as the paper in, in the other one. It's a lot thinner than the paper in the main magazine but I do like the pictures in it so I think you know every now and again I probably will pick one up so they're very very sweet little jars with things in them like you've got a gnome and some birds and I've got I'm doing this one with the ducks and the rain they got little fox and stars and, and they're just they are very very sweet it does say who did a who, who, Christina Bush Bashevsky. I do apologise if I've pronounced your name wrong. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. And then we've got these cute little cats. I do like this. It's so sweet. I've seen this one coloured on the Colour in Heaven Facebook page. If you do like Colour in Heaven and you're on Facebook and you're not a member of the group, I do suggest you go and join. It's a fantastic group. People share all their images. And if you want some inspiration or if you're not sure of what something is, you can go and have a look and see what anybody else has coloured it as. But I've done it many times. And I've also posted my pages there. Not recently, because I haven't done a colour in heaven for a long time. So, these. So this is really a very, very sweet little book. I think so anyway. Um, I like the idea of the pocket books because they'll go on my smaller shelf. I hope this one will, it should do. I've got a few smaller books recently that will go on there, which is great. And there. So yeah, there's a so sweet little turtle king there. <laughs> I haven't looked through this properly. I just picked it up because I know I like the colour in heaven stuff and I thought it looked a bit cute. That one. So the pens I bought, the only thing wrong with pencils rather that I bought we could use pens is there isn't a sort of mid gray there's black and there's white but no mid gray so i will steal a mid gray pencil from one of my sets uh, and, and like from the black widows because there's hundreds of grays in one of those and just pop it in there when i go out oh no there's a one house with the cheeses yeah <clears throat> And then, but I do think these are absolutely the sweetest little book I've seen. So I might have to go and see if I can get the first one from the website just because it's so cute. Yeah, that's nice. This is, they're just so sweet. I want to finish colouring that other page now. I really want to do it, so I will probably work on that one tonight, even though it's supposed to be in my bag. I might even take it when I go and get Jen later, sit in the car, go out a bit early. Usually I play a game or something, just sit in the car and colour. As long as I've got something to rest on, I'll take out my clipboard. Little hedgehog. I do. I think I really like this book. Alright, there you go. The mouse hanging up her washing. I love it. I'm going to have to do that one. Absolutely no question. Oh, he's outside and they're all stuck inside. Oh, he looks happier to be outside though. Oh, the frogs. And the dragonfly. That is great. So there you go. So what, how many was there? 32 um, pictures in the magic jars, Colour in Heaven Pocket. I actually really like this and now I want to go and get the first one. 
I might have a look see what it is though. Because um, I said I'll pick them up if I like them. I mean I've got the mandala ones but I've only got them as PDFs because I couldn't get the first one physically so I thought I'm not going to do it and I haven't coloured in them so there's no point. Anyway that is a flip through of Magic Jars. Uh, I really like it, I think it's really sweet, so I, I will be picking them up occasionally, I think. Probably not every time. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. I'll see you in the next one.